Hey YouTube, this is Ron from the Ride Shark Culture. Back at it again with another video. How's it going? Real quick, but not really quick. I want to talk about my experience in the Keys yesterday. That was Friday, October 16th. Okay. Went to the Keys yesterday. The, uh, I made a decision to go to the Keys. It takes me about an hour and a half to get to the Keys from where I live at. So that's, you know, that's an hour lost. But it's worth it. I went to the Keys thinking I'm going to stay in Key Largo, do some Instacart orders and some shipped orders. I then, I then decided to make the decision to leave, the, to leave Key Largo to go to Key West. If you guys have any ideas about the Keys, the Keys, the rates are very high. So, I wanted to go to Key West because I know they opened. Everybody's on there. I also have, if you ever go to... You go on these on these websites that have cameras, the street cameras, uh, that you can see the streets of Key West, uh, specifically Duval Street, if you know about the Keys. Long story short, I made the decision to leave Key Largo to go to Key West. Now it's two o'clock in the afternoon, all right? So I'm driving down. I look on Shipped. Uh, Shipped has an order in Marathon on north, the north, the north end of Marathon. I go to. I go to that order, I do it, it's a $20 order, lady gives me a $20, $25 tip, 45 bucks, that's 30 minutes of doing that. Also, remember guys, I don't have red, I don't have no red lights, I literally have straight shot, make a left, I'm there. Then, uh, I did two Instacart orders I saw came up, I think one was like 13, the other one was like 20. Not bad, I did them quick, they were like literally 10 minutes to do it because that's, that's not many people in there, and then the stuff is there. They have stock. The stock is there. Um, also, okay, so basically, I did that. What really, really helped me out was shipped. Shipped had orders in what in an area called Big Pine Key. It's about 15 to 20 minutes away from Key West. Mind you guys, I'm trying to drive the key to Key West. I'm not there yet. I don't get to Key West until seven o'clock, but I'm gonna tell you about that in a second. I did three orders, including the one I told you about, the, the $45, the one with the 20 and the $25 tip. In Big Pine Key, they had promotions on top of their $20 orders. So both the two orders in Big Pine Key that I did at the same time, there was $20 order with $20 promotion, and then the first customer gave me a $35 tip, $75. The other one, $20 order, I think it was a $15 promotion, $20 tip. Phenomenal. Phenomenal. I made, in total, within that hour, about 100, 100 something dollars, $150, an hour and a half. Phenomenal money. I go down to Key West, I get a request right before the keys to go in. A shark, shark key, I think it's called. I go in. I pay. I mean, I pay. I make the money. $22. 20 minute trip. 8 miles. You do that in Miami, you only make $8. Go down to the key. Go to Key West. A lot of Lyft requests. Lyft was blowing up the phone. Two, three minute trips. I picked up a trip. Couple. 10 year anniversary. They made a lot of money. They make a lot of money. The guy, right, leaves the kids at the home with his parents. Say, listen, I'm going out with my wife. We're having a good time. He didn't want to walk two blocks. He didn't want to walk two blocks. Oh, let me go this way. He did not want to walk two blocks at all. Oh, they're not doing that, are you? Oh, you are, okay. Uh, I'm at my friend's house, and I thought the gate, this is coming in Cutler Bay right now. The gate was supposed to come up, but now it didn't. $10 trip, $8 trip, I'm sorry, for two minutes, $10 tip, $18, three minutes of driving. Actually, in total of that was four minutes because it was two minutes to get him, two minutes to drop him off. Like, come on, man. Come on. Lyft was $112 in two and a half hours. Uber was $55 in two hours, two and a half hours. I did $156 in three hours there. I 
made a mistake. I should have been there earlier because they everything closed up at 11. If you, if you don't know, Sloppy Joe's is in the corner and it's one of the main bars. Sloppy Joe is one of the main bars in Key West. People love Sloppy Joe's. You need to be near Sloppy Joe's to get your rides. I thought if I was there by 11, it would happen, but I forgot they were closing. So it died around 11 o'clock, 11.30. I went home around 12 o'clock, got home around 3.30 to 4 o'clock. Basically, my experience in the Keys, phenomenal. Let me tell you the other reason why this is great. This is great because, this is great because, okay? Oh, wow. Oh. I didn't even know there was a visitor spot right here. Sorry, guys. I'm over here driving to my best friend's house, talking to you guys at the same time. Listen, this is natural. This is natural. What I wanted to say was GMC Yukons were there. XLs. GMC, the long one. GMC Yukons, long one. Two of them. One black, one white, one with rims, one very clean. Why are you coming to Key West? I'm looking in the back of the car. It say Tropical Chevy. That's in Miami. Now, they could have done it and then maybe they lived there. But I know that their drivers coming down from Miami to the Keys, bunking up together, make money. Because they know the rates are very high. If you live in the Keys, bunk up. If you want, I mean, not bunk up, but multi-app, Instacart, uh, 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 Shipped, Uber Eats. Do them. They got money out there, man. DoorDash. It's in the Keys. Do it. Make the money out there. When I saw Tahoe, short body, the short body, the Tahoe's, I saw the, uh, I didn't see any Suburbans, which is rare, or Escalades. But I saw Tahoe's, bunch of XL's. XL is the top tier in Key West. Here's what I'm afraid of. If Uber comes in and puts Premier or some type of Uber Black in the Keys, XL's kind of, not, not gone, but it's kind of low now. These people have money. They, these people like this car. They look at your car too. You got a GMC Yukon or, or, or a Suburban or Tahoe, looks nice, big inside, looks more uh, muscular than a van, they're tipping. And the reason I said it, because people come in here like, I like this car, I like it. I had my Grand Caravan before and I went to the Keys, eh, mom, dad, car, okay, whatever. They like this car, smaller than a van, but looks muscular. Anyway, that my experience in the Keys has been phenomenal. You just have to know when and where to drive there. So many people going to the Keys now. They know that the rates are higher. You live in South Miami and Homestead. They're coming down to the Keys. I know you guys are driving to the Keys if you live in South Miami. There's so much money out there. When I look at the map on the Rider app to see where cars are, it's a bunch of cars at the Keys. When I look at Key Largo, same thing. When I look at Isla Mirada, it's a bunch of cars there. It's a bunch of cars in North of Isla Mirada, but there's no cars in Marathon, there's no cars in Big Pine Key, smaller town, not a lot of bars and stuff. But Big Pine Key could be a gold mine for shipped and Instacart orders, uh, especially shipped because there's only Winn Dixie in Big Pine Key, there's no Publix. And Instacart does not work with Winn Dixie. You can make money there. The promotions were really great. I had a good time yesterday, I had a great time yesterday, I had no issue. That's another thing too. These people are coming out of their houses now trying to come down and savor the moments that they missed. Governor opens up the state. If you're an Uber driver, make sure, have your Lysol, this needs to be sprayed every time. I don't care. You, you, not, you don't like to wear a mask, you're gonna have to wear a mask, wear it. And, and, and I had nobody had an issue wearing a mask. Everybody said, oh man, I don't have a mask. I have a mask for you here, sir. Okay, here you go, have one. Wipes, gotta wipe them seats down, them hat. The seat belts, you need to. This is lemon. Lemon scented. Make this car smell good, all right? Anyway, with that being said, guys, my experience in the Keys was amazing. I appreciate it. It was great. I like the energy that was down. Everybody had a great time. Nobody was upset. Only had one ride that was kind of quiet. I don't know why. And then they started to talk. I was like, okay, great. It's awkward because everybody else was talking throughout the whole entire day. And all of a sudden, people got this one ride was quiet, but they started to talk afterwards. We had a good time. Anyways, guys, this is Ron from the Ride Shark Culture. I much appreciate you guys. You guys have a great one. I will see you later. Have a good day. Peace.